I'm Frances Moore LaPay, and this is my first Thought Spark on Hope. Now, I have been called a hope fiend, <laughs> and I cop to it, and maybe I even delight in it somewhat. So I want to share with you what are the lessons that I've learned about hope. Number one, hope is work. Now, don't be frightened, because think about it. A lot of great things in life, from a good meal to a good marriage, they require effort. But when we taste them, we know it's all been worth it. Now, to be clear, by this I do not mean work of pushing out the bad news, no. And I'm not talking either about blind faith. For here is the really great news, that I do not have to be an optimist to be stirred by hope. For hope starts, I believe, with one realization, and that is we live in a world of continuous change in which we are all connected. Therefore, it is not possible to know what's possible. And that means that, means that I am free. I am free to go for the world that I want. Yes. So I am not an optimist. I am certainly not a pessimist. I am a possibilist. A possibilist. I do not need certainty of success. I don't even need high probability of success. All I need to know right now is that there is a possibility that by my taking action, now in the growing democracy movement, that there's a chance that I can make a difference on the central crisis of our time, democracy itself. And I see millions of other Americans with the same realization. Now, to stay in the sense of possibility, I have a secret trick that I will share with you, and that is that I keep a short list of great things that have happened that I would have given almost zero chance of ever happening, until they did. So I declare myself today a hardcore, died-in-the-wool possibilist. And the great reward is hope itself. I look forward to hearing your thoughts on hope, and I thank you very much for listening to mine.